All right, uh, let's start. So last time we left off, uh, we were talking about evaluation metrics and how, you, how do you decide if your system is uh, any good. And where we left off is uh, we were talking about accuracy. And I hope that I have convinced you that accuracy is a horrible metric for ev evaluating retrieval systems and you should never use it. In fact, it's not just retrieval systems. Anytime you have a biased class distribution, so anytime you have a classification scenario where one class is a lot more dense than another class, like in web search, you have relatively few relevant documents and billions of non-relevant documents. Anytime you have a situation like that, accuracy is just crap because it's going to prefer completely wrong systems. So we had an example where accuracy is going to prefer to retrieve nothing uh, versus retrieving something because the accuracy value for that strategy is higher than for trying to retrieve something. <clears throat> so, so you can't use accuracy. Well, what can you use? You can use recall precision, uh, but that gives you a pair of numbers, and sometimes you need to combine the numbers. Sometimes you need a single number metric that tells you how good your system is. Um, so one variant that's used a lot is something called the F measure. So it's a combination of recall and precision, and it gives you a single number, uh, and then you can use that single number to compare uh, recall and precision values. So uh, what is the F value? F value is a harmonic mean of precision and recall. So you take your precision, you take your recall, you multiply them together, and you divide by their sum. Now, the F measure has a parameter beta, and that is a parameter that allows you to give different weights to recall and precision. So if you, uh, say, if you're working in a scenario where precision is a lot more important, so if your users get turned off by junk, then uh, you, give, you give more weight to uh, precision. If your users are professional users and they're after recall, then you give more weight to the recall. And beta allows you to trade that off. A, a, a common setting of beta is one, which gives equal weight to precision and recall. Um, and uh, so, so what you get is this F1 metric, which is just two times precision and recall divided by the sum of precision and recall. So, um, so yeah, just by looking at it, you should see that this is the kind of metric that is going to it's a combination, but it's not a linear combination. It's a convex combination, right? And what that means is that thing will penalize you heavily if either precision or recall are very, very low, right? So the F value will, um, if you have a system that has a recall of 100% and a precision of zero, that will have a very low value of F1. And the other way around, if you have a very high value of uh, uh, precision but a very low value of recall, your F1 again will be very low. So a simple linear combination wouldn't capture that, right? If you did something like precision plus recall, uh, you wouldn't be able to get that. Right? Precision 100 plus 0 divided by 2, that would give you a 50, right? So that's not really penalizing you much. This thing will penalize you heavily, right? So as soon as you stick a 0 either here or there, the whole thing is a 0. Now, um, so that's how the F measure is commonly defined. Uh, there's also a way to interpret the F measure geometrically by playing around with the definitions a little bit, right? So let's take our, our definition of F1, it's just that. Now substitute the definitions of precision and recall into this, right? So what is precision? Precision is the number of relevant documents retrieved divided by the total number of documents retrieved. Right? So that's the number of true positives divided by the retrieved set. Retrieved set is true positives plus false positives, right? So, or actually, no, uh, so uh, before that, um, another way to write this out is just like that, right? I'm, I'm, I'm taking one over, so I'm, I'm flipping this equation around, so it's P plus R over PR raised to the negative one uh, power, right? And then you can break it into two parts, right? P over PR uh, is just going to be 1 over R, and then R over PR is just going to be 1 over P. Right? So that's what harmonic mean means. You take the inverses of the quantities, and you take the average uh, of them. Right? Now, if we substitute the definitions, precision is the number of proof positives by the number of stuff you retrieved, and that's just true positives plus the false positives. Recall is true positives divided by the total number of relevant documents, that's true positives plus the false negatives. 
And we can combine these two fractions, right? They have the same denominator, the two positives. And at the top, we're just going to get the two positives plus false positives plus two positives plus false negatives. And then flip it again. So what do we get? The, the denominator comes up at the top. It's the number of true positives. And another way to think of that is that's the number of relevant documents that your system retrieved. Right? And what you have in the numerator, which goes to the denominator after raising to the minus first power, is this is the number of relevant documents that you had in the system. And this is the number of retrieved documents that you had in the system. So uh, and I'm counting the true positives twice, once in the relevant set and once in the retrieved set. So what is the interpretation of this geometrically? Geometrically, you can see it in terms of the Venn diagram, right? So this was our retrieved set. This was our relevant set. The true positives is the intersection. That's what we have at the top. And at the bottom, we have just the sizes of the two sets, right? So this is the size of our relevant set, and this is the size of our retrieved set. So you're taking the, the intersection and dividing it by the sizes of the two sets. So you actually have a name for this already. When we talked about the vector space model, we saw this. The name for this is the dice coefficient. Right? So the F1 measure and the dice coefficient are one and the same thing. And we don't see that very often because people don't think of them in the same terms, but they are the same. Right? <clears throat> so how is this related to accuracy? Right? So what's, what's different from accuracy? Come on. I mean, does this look kind of like accuracy for this guy? We're exactly, we're not including any of the true negatives, right? So this formula has everything that accuracy has, except it doesn't have the true negatives. And why is that a good thing? That's a good thing because the true negatives, that's your billions of things that don't matter. That's the billions of non-relevant documents that you didn't retrieve, right? That's the stuff that confuses the accuracy metric. So, Another way to think of the F1 metric, it's just like accuracy, only, only you throw away the true negatives. Simple as that. All right. <clears throat>